Hi guys, welcome back to Corey's Reef. In this week's episode, I'm going to talk about the fish and corals I currently have. You can check it out straight after this. These are my two LPS torch corals. They both have two heads each. My gold stripe maroon clang tried getting the green tipped purple torch to host it and it wasn't having any of it unfortunately, which caused one of their heads to have a polyp bailate. A polyp bailate is basically a stress response from the coral, which causes it to let go of some of the polyps, but thankfully it's now recovering. The white tipped green torch is doing great and really extending its polyps. I purchased this coral from Aaron's Aquarium about three weeks ago, and it has been fought faultless ever since. This is my purple tip green frog spawn. It is a branching variety of euphilia. I purchased this from a local reefer about three months ago when it only had three heads between the two branches. It now has around eight heads but no new branches as of yet. I'm hoping that will be soon so I can start to frag it. I'll try and pop up a photo of when I first put it in to show you just how quick these types of euphilias can grow under the right conditions. I currently have two hammers. They both are placed at the top of the rock at the moment as they wasn't doing too great when they were down low. Now they're closer to the light, they seem to be thriving and getting a much more polyp extension. I purchased these two from a local fish store. I'm not really sure what kind they are, as they didn't really know their self. I'm sure the one on the left is an Indo import from Australia, but I'm not too sure. Comment below if you know the names of these corals. I currently have one Duncan which has two heads on it. I've had this car for about five months now. It seems really happy where it's placed, but I don't really see any extra growth in regards of heads. Um, I feed this car all once, once a week, maybe every two weeks with reef roids, maybe a bit of mysis. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to grow some more heads real soon. I purchased this coral around four months back from a local fish shop. It had no polyps even visible. It looked very droopy and sad. It's now thriving with full polyp extension and growing rapidly. I managed to get this Kenya tree non-intentionally. It was a tiny piece when I first had it. It came free on another frag, which I think was a Xenia at the time. A lot of people don't really like these corals because of the rate they grow at and they take over your tank very quickly. But to be honest, I quite like them and this one's grown very nice. I recently purchased this ACAN and I have to be honest, it's one of my favorite corals I've got in my tank currently. Um, it has eight heads, but to be honest, I'm thinking about making this piece of rock into an ACAN garden. This is the little Zoa garden I currently got forming. Um, I'm hoping to have this rock pretty much covered really in Zoas. Um, I want a few different random ones. I'm not too sure on what the names are. They're currently the ones I've already got. Um, if you know, comment down below and let me know. Um, yeah, I'm interested in knowing. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps a lot. Let me know what you want my next upload to be. See you on the next one.